If a mother has type 1 diabetes, type 2 diabetes, or gestational diabetes, it's really important for her to make sure that she's watching her blood sugars closely during pregnancy and keeping them within a good range and working closely with her doctor to make sure that her and her baby are doing well during the pregnancy. After the baby's born, a baby is at greater risk for having complications if they're born to a mother with diabetes. Even if the blood sugars were well controlled, there may be complications. Women who have diabetes are more likely to deliver their babies prematurely. And of course, if a baby is born prematurely, that brings with it a host of complications for the baby. But even if a baby is born full term, they're still at greater risk for having issues with breathing, having jaundice, and also having blood sugar control problems of their own. And this goes back to the fact that they've been used to a constant flow of elevated blood sugar levels. And so if their pancreas is working well, they're, they're pumping out enough insulin to counteract that. So as soon as they're cut off from that constant flow of sugar, their blood sugar levels fall. And so it can take some time to help their bodies regulate and stabilize after delivery. There are other complications that are possible as well. So ultimately, I suggest talking with your OB provider if you have diabetes. And based on their knowledge of your circumstances and what your hemoglobin A1C levels have been doing, your blood sugars have been doing, they'll be able to give you tailored information and advice about what you can likely expect after delivery. Good luck with everything. And if you have more questions in the future for me, feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash intermountain moms and recommend us to your friends and family too.